having this head is like having a banana chocolate chip muffin. Having this head is like having the best muffin of all time, the chocolate chip cream cheese chocolate muffin. Boys and girls, I got something in this box. It came from another YouTuber, Kyle, over at Salika Dreams. I was following him on Instagram. He's building a 77 Toyota Salika, and it's going to be a restaurant mod project from what I understand. You guys should check out his channel. He's just starting out on that build there, and uh, I think it's going to have a cool engine swap, and uh, we've been able to talk ideas back and forth with each other, so check it out at Salika Dreams. He sent me this 70 pound package, which I'm very excited about. So let's open her up. Let's see if it survived the journey. And Kyle, thank you very much. I'm super stoked on this. get into the next layer of this. He's done a super good job packaging this guy up. And for those of you wondering what this might have to be, my engine block sitting at Brazer. We've talked about high compression cylinder heads. I'm guessing that's what we got in here. There she is in all her old school glory. So Kyle has, from what I understand, a parts car. And that's the first model year Salika. I believe it's a 71. And what the 71 had was an 8RC. And I have the 18RC. So the 8RC is, uh, it needs hardened valve seats to work with today's fuel. But we're going to get into what makes this head special. I did want an 18RG, but I started planning out a new build. Something that is more in my budget and that we can still have fun with. So we got this old cast iron butte here. Let's get a close up look at it. So Kyle's given me a little handwritten note, which is super cool. Handwritten mail is way cooler than uh, emails. It's kind of neat to connect. It's almost like connecting in person. But he's given me a little sticker. It says, sorry, my Japanese is a little rusty. So um, very cool. Thank you very much, Kyle. We'll make a good spot for that. So let's check out this head and what's special about it. So guys, uh, these two heads, as you can tell, they're very similar in the way the water jackets are and the way it will bolt up. That's the same. Where it gets cool is these are high compression. So check that out. All this space is filled in here. This one's got a ton of space in there. So this is like one big wide open cavity and there's even space in here. This is eight and a half to one compression on an 18 RC. On an eight RC, this is nine to one compression. Now what you have to remember is the 18 RC is also a bigger bore size. So I believe our compression ratio is gonna be nine and a half to 10 to one running this head. Someone on, on uh, one of the Salika forums told me actually that this would probably be a 10 and a half to one compression ratio engine uh, once we got it done. So we do have the Weber carburetors I gotta get a hold of yet. I wanna run Weber 40s on here, a pair of them. I have that special side draft intake manifold for that. So we'll get the good sounds out of this engine as well. But Kyle, thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to bringing off bring this head off to the machine shop in the next little while. So very basically, 
having this head is like having a banana chocolate chip muffin. Having this head is like having the best muffin of all time, the chocolate chip cream cheese chocolate muffin. So I'm going to have that now and then that one anyways. All right, guys and girls, we are getting ready to go to the machine shop with the second round of parts. I got my webcam here, it's the aftermarket grind. It's kind of a mild grind. I'll bring that for them in case they need it. He wanted to see my intake manifold, I think for maybe port matching. So we'll do that. And I'll bring this whole high compression head with the rockers, arms and springs and everything on there in case he needs it for checking valve clearance and stuff like that. So let's load her up into the Miata. We may be taking Tony's hot rod there, but I still got to get to his place out in the country. So here we go. So it's all in the trunk and that's what, like probably hundred pounds extra. I'm guessing a small car that'll actually change the weight distribution. So we'll see how it drives. All right guys, girls, we just got uh, on our way home. We're stopping at Tim Hortons for some good stuff. Some ice cap and muffins. Got the sun in my eyes, so we're gonna squint a little bit for this, but I would say we had a lot of fun talking up storm with the guys at Brazer there, hey? Oh yeah. And so we got to talk project cars and we came up with a bit of a build plan for the block and the head, what they wanna to do to it. And we'll show you a little bit of a, a clip. I just took a short clip, but we talked the breeze for a while. And the crazy part to me is there was a guy, <laughs> yeah, he, he was not from Canada here and he recognized right away, oh, that's your 18RC block. And he's like, what's it going in? I said, a Celica TA22. And he's like, oh, I had one of those back in my home country. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. We talked a long time and uh, it was a good experience. So I look forward to seeing that engine come together. All right, guys, we're at Brazer here and they've started on my block. The hot tank situation happened. So next work I believe is machine work. So, we dropped off the head today and we'll be coming back next trip probably to pick stuff up. It'll be a little while of a wait. Mm -hmm. 